two of my besties the last 25 years, you and Elon. Is this uh, you guys just uh, goofing on each other? You got an issue with Elon that's sincere or is it just playful fun trolling? So two things. One, as an entrepreneur, Elon's like the shit of the shit of the shit, right? Yeah. There's, I'm, I'm a huge fan. What he's been able to accomplish is insane. It's incredible. I would never diminish anything he's done as an entrepreneur. Yeah. As a Twitter user, he's a f- <laughs> troll. And I mean, he just trolls to troll to troll. And every good troll deserves a foil, right? Somebody to yeah. troll back. And it's just so easy and so much fun. Um, yeah. Now, you know, I get some of the underlying principles, I think, at least in my mind. Like when he talks about- What do you about- think about the First Amendment principle that he's doing here of like radically changing Twitter from like, it's pretty controlled to, hey, anything goes. I think that's or a fear. Almost anything goes. I think that's a fear of losing um, users. So I think that within the conservative community, they are more joiners and heavier um, social media users, participants. They, yeah, yeah, participants. So they they subscribe to more things. They listen to more podcasts. They're more active, and I think he recognized that, and that was a fundamental underpinning of why he kind of connected to them on the free speech thing because he still has his limits. Obviously it's his platform and what he doesn't want doesn't get shown. So I think that's why, and I can't blame him. Um, I wish he would call me. I'd help him on, on his, his revenue and all that. And then I think on the immigration side, here's my theory. And you guys can tell me if you agree or disagree. I don't think he's anti-immigration. Like he says, you know, anti-illegal immigration, um, where anybody who's in the country should be deported. I think as an immigrant himself, and I'm second generation, you guys are, you know, immigrants at some level, we all are. But I think as an immigrant himself, he thinks that the number of illegal immigrants in this country and the hate that's pushed towards them carries over to legal immigrants, including himself. And I think he, by, he believes that by diminishing the illegal or the non-citizens in this country and asking for their removal, it improves the standing of the legal immigrants, including himself. And so that's kind of my theory on on both of those things. Interesting. Yeah, it, it's a uh, it's certainly I a different I mean, honestly, place. I, I don't think you need much of a theory to explain Elon's views because he's just so transparent about what he believes. Yeah. I truly believe that his core conviction and the reason he bought Twitter X is because he wanted to unlock it as a free speech platform. Yeah, I don't, I don't think and, so. Okay, I don't well, think so. I, I don't know how much mo- more money he can lose uh, in pursuit but, of that goal. But <laughs> see, here's why, here's why I disagree. <laughs> you don't take other people's money to do that. If he well, put I don't up, think he knew. He didn't know that he would get boycotted by all these advertise, advertisers. Yeah, but he knew, he knew that, I think he went in, open eyes, carried the sink in the door to run it with some improvements operationally, which he did a great job of, and to and actually- taking out a huge amount of the cost structure, which he did. Yeah. But J- Jason and I were there on the first day. The first day he took over, there was an organized boycott of advertisers. They called him anti-Semitic, which is ridiculous, before he even had a chance but, to you know, I've heard one from, I've thing heard, about that site. So I've heard from a lot of those folks. Um, and it's not so much- Look, when you talk about free speech- Free speech applies to advertisers as well. They get to associate with whoever they want to, no matter what. So, sure. and so there, there are um, unless, repercussions. Unless sometimes. there's a unless there's a, a a collusive effort going on to sort of organize. No, and those, I get that organization just dissolved immediately, so there weren't. But look, I could from my own self, right? I don't understand why you won't give him credit for believing in free speech. That's clearly oh, I, I don't the have principle. No, I have no problem in. with free speech. Look, I've always said people are like get rid of the anti-Semitic people. You get anti-Semitic tropes. I get you know zillions of anti-Semitic tropes. You know in my in in my replies, just they're nonstop. I mean, I'm not white. You know, my grandparents changed their name to J- from Chabinsky to Cuban, not even intentionally. And so it's always your real name is Chabinsky white. There's just the hate there is insane. And my attitude has always been, I want to know who the morons are. I have no problem with them still being allowed on the platform. But the trade-off is for advertisers. They don't want to be associated with that. There is no upside for being on Twitter right now or X on right now. And you add to that the porn. Kids 13 years old can go on that site and you can find any insane thing you want on X right now. 
And that also is a problem for advertisers. That's part of free speech, but you got to pay the bill when you're willing to accept that. I don't think he realized just how deep users will go in order to use their free speech. And I think that really surprised him. And so that's why I don't think that he bought it specifically for free speech, because I think he's always one of the things I really admire. Well, no, I don't about, know. I mean, he said he said before he bought it that he was going to open it up as a free speech platform. And that's and fine, this is but why. I, Hold on. This is why the left immediately started boycotting him before he even changed one policy. There's a news story this week where OpenAI just raised, was it $6 billion yep, at $150 billion valuation? Billion. Um, they originally started that enterprise with $50 million or so from Elon. It was a nonprofit. Then they became a for-profit. Now there's a report saying that they're telling IPO investors coming. in this round that they can't invest in any other AI companies. So they're acting like, I mean, they've gone from nonprofit yeah. philanthropy to piranha for-profit company. That's pretty sharp elbow. Sam, yeah, yeah, it is sharp elbow. Sam said he wasn't going to take compensation. Now he's getting compensation. Yep. 10 billion. I mean, what Quick do you think bill. about this? I mean, look, it's their company. They get to do what they want. Period. Not of under false pretenses. I mean, if but, then they don't, but, but don't invest. I mean, they he just, didn't invest. He gave him a donation. No, look, let me, which leads to something I want to say very positive about Elon. Put aside his genius in coming up and running these companies. The one thing I, I respect the most about Elon Musk, and he does more than anybody I've ever seen, and that is he goes all in. He doesn't just, you know, he takes every cent he has and he believes in it and he goes all mother in. He never hedges his bet at all. Until Twitter, right? That's why I say, you know, he brought in investors, you know, he brought investors to Tesla and everything, but initially he went all in himself. You know, I think with Twitter, I think he was kind of surprised. But going back to OpenAI, I don't, I wouldn't do business with people like that. And there are people who just look for what they think is the next big thing. And I certainly could have given him money, didn't give him money. I said one of our funds that I'm in gave, did give him money originally, didn't give him money another time. To me, that's just wrong. And that catches up to you. When people f over investors and whatever, it always comes back. Karma's a bitch in business too. Now, you know, Gemini with Google, I've done a lot of stuff with them. Notebook is insanely good. Gemini 1.5 is insanely good. Meta as open source and what they're doing is getting better and better. There is no, you know, it, there's nothing that says that open AI is going to win. Nothing at all. And so I don't feel bad about what they're doing. And to me, it tells me they're more scared than anything by trying to restrict what people are doing. Yep. That's Your a super perspective is, plan. It says it's more a reflection of Sam than anything else is, right. your, is, is what you're saying. Yep. Well, We're I mean, that would be reflected in the fact that so many people who are the co-founders have left. Yeah, um, that that's a really big red flag. If this thing is going to change the world, yeah, and every, you know, all the co-founders leave. I heard forty of the forty-four co-founders left. 